Hi guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna learn how you can create customized progress bar. So first, take a look one example here. This is how our progress bar look like at zero progress. And with this button, I can increase the progress. And this is how our progress bar look like when we have progress. And you can always change the color however you want. So now let's build it. But before we begin, please make sure to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get notification when we upload more content. So in Android Studio, I am gonna use linear layout instead of this constraint layout. You can use whatever layout you want. We need to give this layout a orientation. I am gonna use vertical. We are also gonna set the gravity to center. And we also give little bit of padding of 16 dp. Now inside a linear layout, we are gonna create a progress bar here. With a width match parent and height wrap content. And you can see that it gives circular progress bar as a default. Now we are gonna change our progress bar style to horizontal with this attribute. Now it is set to horizontal progress bar. I am gonna give this progress bar an ID so we can find it in Java code later. I am gonna simply call it progress bar. Now we also need to create a button here with an height and width wrap content. I am also gonna give this button an ID and that will be start progress. I am gonna give this button an hard coded text start progress. And we are gonna add one more attribute here that is takes all caps to false. I just created this button for the demonstration purpose to increase the progress. You don't have to create this button in your project. Now we will go to our rest folder here and right click on our drawable directory. New drawable resource file. And I am gonna give this file a name that is custom progress bg. And click OK to finish it. And in here, first we will replace the selected tag with the layer list. And inside it, we are gonna create an item with the ID, Android ID background. And this will be background of our progress bar. And inside this item tag, we are going to create a shape of rectangle. And we are going to set the corner radius to 6 dp. We are going to also give this background a color with a solid tag. And I am going to choose this color for my progress bar background. You are free to choose whatever color you like. And now we are going to come out of this item tag. And below we are going to create a new item with the id android id progress and it's going to be the progress of our progress bar inside this item tag we are going to create a scale tag with the scale width of 100% because our progress bar's mac progress will be 100% and inside the scale tag we are going to create a shape like above So we are going to give the corner radius to 6 dp. And we are going to add a solid color. And I am going to use this blue color here. And again you are free to choose whatever color you like. Now we have created a custom style for our progress bar. And all we have to do is set this style to it. Now we will go back to our activity main.xml. In here we are going to add Android progress doable attribute to our progress bar and set the value drawable slash custom progress bg that we have just created. We are gonna add some space between progress bar and button 
so we are going to give top margin of 16 dp to this button and now we will go to our main activity.java file and in here first we are going to declare our variables the first variable would be an integer I am going to call it current progress and set this value to 0 then we are going to initialize our progress bar and button respectively and assign them to their following IDs we are going to set on click listener to our start button so start button dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener and inside this on click method we are going to increase our progress and in here first we are going to take our current progress variable and increase it by 10 because we want to increase our progress by 10 with a one time button click and now we are going to take our progress bar and call dot set progress and pass our current progress variable that is increased by 10 and we are going to set our mac progress to 100 so the limit of our progress bar would be 100 and then again this whole button thing is for the demonstration purpose to show you that how the progress bar is looks like the goal of this tutorial is to create a custom progress bar and how it is handled in an android app it is completely up to you so now let's test our app to see how it's work. And you can see that when our app is start the progress is at 0 and when I click this button the progress is increased by 10. And that's how it looks like its color is completely up to you to decide what you want to use in your project and that is for this video if it is helpful please leave a like and if you are new here please consider subscribing to our channel for upcoming new updates you can get the example code of this video in the video description so guys take care